Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about Zentangles. All you're going to need is a piece of paper and some sort of fine tip writing uh, utensil. So you know I love a good juicy sharpie, but you can also use a pencil or a ballpoint pen or some sort of fine tip marker, any sort of marker. And that is what we will need to start to do our Zentangle. What is Zentangle, you might ask? Well, Zentangle is a meditative, relaxing, and fun way to create artwork. You can make beautiful images by drawing structured patterns. The structured patterns are called tangles. You create tangles with a combination of dots, lines, simple curves, S-curves, orbs, you name it, you can do this. These patterns are drawn on small sections of paper called tiles. We call them tiles because you can then assemble them these tiles into what is called a mosaic. Zentangle is a non-representational and unplanned artwork, so you can really focus on each stroke and not worry about the end result. If you make a mistake, you just kind of roll with it and figure it out from there. There's no up or down to Zentangle art. In fact, you can most easily create Zentangle art by rotating your tile as you tangle. Always keep your hand in a relaxed position. You don't need to know what the tangle is going to look like to draw it. You just need to know the steps. The result is often a delightful surprise. So as you create a beautiful Zentangle image, you'll likely enjoy increased focus, creativity, self-confidence, and an elevated sense of well-being. How about we put ourselves into a great state of Zen? So if you go to the Google Classroom into the resources page or the classwork page, there um, are a couple of resources that you could find um, to help with the Zentangle. One is called the Line and Pattern Guide, um, and they look sort of like this, or just like this. Um, I like this one because if there's a certain pattern that you like, this gives you a step-by-step -step to get that desired result. Um, and again, if you make a mistake, like it's not, oh no, it doesn't look exactly like the picture here, it doesn't matter because this is your own design, your own pattern. They're all going to look slightly different. So to start with, I'm going to take my plain paper and I've got my juicy Sharpie and I'm just going to do a bunch of big squiggles around my page, totally unplanned, see what happens. I'm going to connect to this. I want a bunch of different, these are going to be my tiles. And then within each of these tiles, I'm going to just do a couple of different patterns. So I'm going to start with maybe some lines over here. Maybe I'll add some dots in there. And once you're finished with the tile section, it doesn't ma mean that you are done with it. You can always go back and add more details if you feel like it needs more balance um, or you don't quite like the way something turned out. You can kind of add to it um, as you go. And again, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. You just kind of roll with it. So I did this section here. I think I might, you know, I love a good curly cue. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to do a little curly cue over on this side. Now I like myself doing a bunch of variety um, of lines and patterns. My mother always said variety is the spice of life. So I'm going to do some curly cue lines over here. So you might do some thin lines. You could do thick lines, curvy straight lines. It's totally up to you. And then I'm going to fill in this whole tile section with a curly cue pattern. And once again, I'm, I can't say this enough. I do not have a plan to do this. I'm just kind of winging it and it's coming out, um, I don't know, pretty great if I see so myself. So I'm going to um, pause here for my talking and I'm going to just fill in some of my other areas with different ideas. All right, so I'm getting close to being done. I have a lot of really heavy patterns here. So again, variety is the spice of life. Um, we like to have a nice balance too. So we might have some heavy areas and some lighter areas. So this is pretty heavy here, but then I don't have anything really heavy here. 
So my plan, I think, is to do something a little bit heavier in this spot to balance out my artwork. Now this, I had a lot of white space in here. So now I'm kind of going back and I don't love it that it's all filled up with those little polka dotties. I don't want it to be too heavy. I want to leave a little white space. So I'm going to just put some polka dots here and there, hither and yon. And I think that's good. Sometimes it's nice just to stop, um, step back, look at it, and then come back to it later. So again, I think I need something that's a little bit heavier here. So I'm looking at my little reference sheet. Um, and this was awfully geometric straight lines. So I think I might do some curvy lines here. And I want them to be a little bit heavier. So I think I'm going to color in maybe every other one. So it gets that nice, bold, dark line in between each of these and it kind of balances out where it should be heavy and not heavy and now that I have that done I'm rushing a little bit here because I don't want to bore you to tears but uh, maybe I'm going to do a nice little light line in the middle just to give it a little bit more interest mm -hmm. that sounds good and again I wanted to do something kind of heavy over here so looking at my little Zen tangle patterns ooh. I could do like a checkerboard pattern. So I'm gonna do a quick checkerboard pattern here. And again, if you've noticed, sometimes I rotate my paper um, to help with some ideas. I think I'll put a circle in the middle. So I'm gonna pause here, finish this up, and then um, I will come back to you. Okay, so I have it all filled in and I'm just kind of stepping back, looking at it, seeing where I can give little tweaks to make it look a little bit better. I think I'm going to fill in these last little zigzags into black and that might balance out the artwork a little bit. Um, sometimes I have a hard time just knowing when to stop already but um, I don't know I find when I do this that I'm just like turn off my brain and the only thing I think about is drawing these lines and repeating patterns and it helps me kind of meditate, take your mind off of things. My son, when he was in third grade, he had a great saying. He used to love to draw as well. Um, and he said, oh, when I'm feeling hot, when my brain is feeling hot, sometimes I just like to cool it down with some coloring or drawing. So especially these days when your brain's feeling a little hot, not really sure what's happening. It's just nice to chill, draw some lines, make some patterns, and you're going to end up with a nice piece of artwork. Almost done here, people. I can't stop now that I've started. <laughs> I'm really missing everyone. All right, finishing it up. And there we go. There is my beautiful Zen Tangle that I've created. I'm going to rotate it a little bit and see. I think I might like it better. Mm, I think I like it like this. And you know you always have to put your name on your artwork. So I'm going to sign my name right down here. Put your name on it and you are done. Have a nice day guys.